In this video, you will learn how to apply and remove 3M Tegaderm CHG Chlorhexidine Gluconate IV Securement Dressing 1657 on a multi-lumen introducer, inserted in the internal jugular. The Tegaderm CHG IV Securement Dressing offers site visibility, antimicrobial protection, consistent application, and advanced catheter securement with perforations that allow it to fit securely around large catheters or devices. To apply, follow this easy four-step process. Remember to prepare, press, secure, monitor. Prepare the site according to facility protocol. Open perforations in keyhole notch before removing dressing liner. Peel the liner from dressing and place on sterile field prior to insertion. Ensure catheter insertion site is completely dry for optimal adhesion and to prevent skin irritation. Place the dressing so that the CHG gel pack covers the catheter insertion site and suture sites when possible. Be sure not to stretch the dressing during application. Apply firm pressure to securement border with one hand while removing border frame with opposite hand. Apply securement tape strip under the device tubing and overlap back onto the dressing. Remove adhesive-free tabs. Document the dressing change information on the documentation label. Apply documentation label on top of dressing over catheter lumen or lumens. Remove adhesive-free tabs. The dressing should be changed if the gel pad remains displaced when pressed with a finger. Change dressing every seven days. When the dressing becomes loose or soiled, if the gel pad is saturated, or in cases where there is swelling, visible drainage, or lost visibility. Open securement tape strip perforations. After opening perforations, hold securement tape strip and peel back dressing toward the catheter insertion site using a low and slow removal technique. Avoid skin trauma by peeling the dressing back rather than pulling it up from the skin. When the CHG gel pad is exposed, grasp a corner of the gel pad and the transparent film dressing between thumb and finger. Apply a few drops of sterile saline or alcohol if needed to facilitate removal of gel pad. Continue the low and slow removal method until the dressing is completely removed.